Hello Acceleration Nation! This is a blood bike pulling up to the Great Western Air Ambulance. This video covers the relationship between the freewheelers blood bikers and their delivery to the Air Ambulance Charity. It also includes an interview with one of the brilliant paramedics on board who describes a typical journey in the helicopter. This was filmed pre-Covid, so I did have the privilege of shaking Matt's hand. It was also Gaza's first trip to the helipad. Please have a look at my freewheelers video to learn all about Gaza's legacy and a night in the life of a blood biker. Whilst I spend that evening on the Fowler's Yamaha MT-09, I got to ride the day shift on a Harley Davidson 1200XL kindly offered by Martin, one of the freewheelers controllers. I managed to get some decent audio of the Harley's 1200cc V-twin, following Melanie around on bike number 12 aka Gaza, the Yamaha FJR 1300. Those clips are at the end of this video. Please consider subscribing. Just click on that subscribe button and ring that bell. Now on to the video. I will see you in a bit. Okay, Melanie, uh, we find ourselves on an airfield yes. uh, next to the air ambulance. Why yes. did we get here? <laughs> so part of our remit every night is we've um, engaged with a charity, both Great Western and also um, Wiltshire Air Ambulance, to deliver blood on board for them basically every night. So okay. our riders collect every night from South Mid Hospital. South Mid Hospital, right. Yeah. So they bring enough supplies here, so both blood products and fresh frozen plasma. Okay. So hand over every night to the paramedics here, critical care paramedics, and it means that when they're out flying, they've got blood with them to actually pump into somebody who needs it, basically. Got it. And we've committed as a charity to do that every night of the year for them. Every night of, every the, night year, of the year, 365? Yeah. Always here? Always here. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, so um, next to a helicopter, I can yeah. think of someone who could probably help me with a bit of explanation. Um, Matt, um, just literally just met you. Great to meet you. My name is Lara. Um, you've been very kind in just giving me a bit of a show and tell about this aircraft and your role. So yeah. firstly, orange means you're a paramedic. So Yeah, not a bin man. <laughs> not a bin man. Not a bin Classic. man, yeah. So we usually fly with um, crew of three. So we have the pilot will sit front right. Yeah. And the paramedic will be front left. Uh, so we assist the pilot in navigation. Um, really? Okay. sure that there's nothing, everyone knows where we're going. Yep. We'll all be doing comms in the aircraft as well. So speaking to the crews on the ground. Survey from up high, make sure there's no wires. So, 2,000 feet ish? No, less than that. So less, than that. less than 1,000 feet would be fine. Okay, and then you, because I, I have a little bit of flying experience. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, you kind of do your pre landing checks, really, yeah, aren't yeah. you? So what are you going to ruin? Do the checks. Pylons, yeah, likes, that's the what you're going to land in, basically. Yeah. Um, and then once you've all agreed on the landing spot, um, we go for the pre landing checks, like you just said, uh, which is like a challenge and response um, between the pilot and yourself. Okay. Uh, when we get skids on, we all come together as a team again. Skids? Skids yep. on the ground. Um, so we will exit out, grab our kit, and then go off to the patient. Fantastic. So, what's the time once you've landed? How quickly are you there with the individual? So it depends where it is. Um, if we can land quite closely, um, if it's outside of Bristol, if it's in the centre of Bristol, we'd rather go by road or depending on what the job is, we'll take the aircraft if it's rush hour. So, it depends where we can land. Usually, if it's rural, we can land right next to where we need to be. Yeah. Um, and it also depends if, if we, it's slow time, so if it's a job that's a protracted job, we'll wait until the rotor blades stop. If it's like a hot offload, off we'll just we'll come out together and. Hot offload. Dip out that way. And get out that way. Yes. Um, you pointed that way because of the very nature of the tail rotor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. spinny, nasty thing. Nice really good haircut. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Leave from the front. Yeah. Um, so this is as low as the rotors get, but it always feels uncomfortable when you're running underneath it. So yeah, and especially in the you get um, blade sails in the wind. So when the, when the rotors are um, slowing down, and the wind will force them to, to slap. So you still have to be aware yeah, of yeah. that. Yeah, so we basically react to our sort of tend to do position. So we always get a thumbs up with the pilot, and we always go out that way. Straight out, job yeah. done. Yeah. Cool. So pilot front right. Uh, front right, yeah. Paramedic uh, front, front left. left. Um, and then we'll have um, a doctor, so usually a consultant grade doctor. Um, and their full time job will either be in emergency department or anaesthetics. Um, we're a regional training centre for the UK for doctors who want to specialise in pre hospital care. Okay. So we usually have a trainee sat in um, the jump seat there. Um, and then we 
carry exactly the same kit as you'd find on board of back and ambulance. Oh, right. But it's, but it's more specialised. So we have to have a primary bag, okay. a secondary bag, an automatic CPR device, and we have a defibrillator, straight monitor. So you've actually pulled out the stretcher here yep. and it's just laden with kit. So you get rid of all this kit yep. <laughs> and it's got a clear people seat belt. Because <laughs> yep. yes. that's going to be there for the individual when you need it. Yep. And you're going to offload this, yep. get help to the individual and then get back on it. Yep. Got it. I've, um, I'm a motorbike racer and I've seen you guys. Crazy kid. Yeah, <laughs> so I've seen uh, the air ambulance visit. It was at Cabell Park. Um, pretty messy crash. And there's there's a certain sense of perspective and what this team offer with me doing stupid stuff on the track yeah. and then the accidents on the road. Yeah. Is it mostly road accidents or it could be anything? It's anything, really? anything, anything that's um, anything that's horrible. So whether it's trauma, industrial accident, cardiac arrest, adult, child, burns, um, RTCs, stabbing, shooting. We, we, we get targeted yeah. towards that sort of stuff okay. just because we've got quite a unique skill set. Got it. Cool. Um, I think that's all I've got to ask you, but Matt, thank you very much for the service, it's awesome. Thank you very much, Matt and Melanie. And that concludes the video with the Great Western Air Ambulance Charity. So they are 100% funded as a charity and not by the NHS. So anything you can do to help, please feel free to donate using the link above. Now for the rest of the video, I follow Melanie on bike number 12, aka Gaza, with some epic Harley audio. I never thought I'd say that. Melanie is on her freewheelers weekend shift. It's now Saturday morning and she's doing a collection at a local care home in Bristol. You can watch a full video about a night in the life of a freewheeling blood biker. Just click on the link. Now on to some Harley madness. If you fancy seeing any of my other attempts at reviewing motorbikes, just have a look at my Lara Moto Reviews playlist. Take care and thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy.